All right, welcome back to Hannity. So earlier today, during the White House press briefing, U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions addressed sanctuary cities and the harm they have caused the country. Let's watch this. The Department of Justice has a duty to enforce our nation's laws, including our immigration laws. Those laws require us to promptly remove aliens when they are convicted or detained of certain crimes. Unfortunately, some states and cities have adopted policies designed to frustrate this enforcement of immigration laws. This includes refusing to detain known felons under federal detainer request or otherwise failing to comply with these laws. The American people are not happy with these results. They know that when cities and states refuse to help enforce immigration laws, our nation is less safe. Here with Reaction, the author of the bestseller In Trump We Trust, E. Pluribus Awesome, Ann Coulter. Why do I bet you don't care about the health care repeal and replace issue? You want immigration vetting of refugees. That's, those are your top issues, and you think that is, should be the number one priority now. Well, I did care about Obamacare light, and I think it's a complete disaster. I have a very simple plan to fix it, which I'll be launching in my column on Wednesday. So simple, even a Republican congressman could understand. It's very easy to fix. I don't really hold um, Trump responsible for that. I do want Trump and these Republicans in Congress to enforce the Trump agenda. Instead, we're getting an awful lot of the standard GOP corporatist agenda. Um, I mean, for example, this claim that they're going to they're going to go to tax cuts next well um, and particularly the corporate tax rate look as you know um, I would like taxes cut um, as you know I'm very pro-life I'm about at the point that I want taxes to go up and Planned Parenthood funded if this is all the Republicans are giving this uh, giving us as I recall under Bush tax cuts we had massive tax cuts um, corporations you know they they were happy and yet what did they turn around and do they hired guest workers they didn't hire Americans. They insisted on hire illegal aliens. So I'm not sure this argument that cutting the taxes on corporations, oh, it'll lead to all these jobs. What leads to jobs is limiting the, the supply of labor by deporting illegal aliens, by building a wall. Whoa, you want an infrastructure project. It reduces the number of welfare cases. It helps you with Medicaid and Medicare. Doing what Trump said on immigration makes everything else we have to do so much easier. Listen, you don't want illegal immigrants competing for jobs, especially when you have 95 million Americans out of the labor force. But you, you can't deny if you bring in trillions of repatriated money at a low rate, that's going to incentivize them to spend money to build factor, factories, manufacturing centers. And the same with corporate taxes. You lower it to 15 percent. You go from the highest corporate tax rates in the industrialized world to the lowest. Businesses are going to want to do business here. That only helps us too, right? Maybe. I'm not very inclined to worry about, about um, corporate America right now. That's all anybody has worried about. Um, the whole point of Trump was no, to care about, about the, the jobs working they class. And as I say, well, yeah, all those jobs they created under Bush. No, they didn't. They brought in guest workers. They demanded an amnesty. But you got to secure the border simultaneously. I agree with you. We're not disagreeing. Not simultaneously. Number one, and I would also say that having seen um, that we're going to be living under, in fact, we're going to live under fascism under Trump. It's the fascism of our federal district court judges. Um, immigration is obviously the federal responsibility, um, but some district court judges don't understand that. And as long as they're going to be deciding all of our immigration policy for us, I think the first law Congress ought to pass is just take, take Trump's immigration policy paper and pass every provision into law. As I've said before, Trump is very clever about this. Almost everything he's promised on immigration already is the law. It is 100 percent within the prerogative of the president. Why would you advise him to because, do it again? Because um, everything he wants to do is, is, is his responsibility as the president. For example, to build the wall. He's the commander in chief. I mean, it's not just the law, it's the Constitution that gives the president the authority to protect our borders. But apparently, some federal district judges need more than the Constitution. They will ignore the Constitution. Um, why not have Congress, for one thing, just for supplemental 
supplemental support on all of Trump's immigration policies, pass, pass every, all of his immigration policies into law, um, and also force the Democrats and some of those weak-kneed Republicans to vote against it. I keep hearing from, I guess, what, uh, what Reince Priebus said this weekend, that, that the new White House plan is, is to appeal to Democrats and reach out to Democrats. That. And look, Trump, Trump is a charming person. I'm sure he will be lovely to them, but I think instead of trying to get Democrat votes by giving in to them, yeah. by, by pushing socialist ideas, the way you get Democrats to vote for your bills is by writing bills that they can't vote against because they have to stand for re-election, as you will see with my That's Obamacare fix this, this Wednesday. All right. Ann Coulter, thank you. Uh, they want to destroy Trump. They don't want to support him, the Democrats. All right. Thank you.